The following video will show you how to plan and register for courses using the Navigate software. First, go to the TTC homepage at tridenttech.edu and click on the TTC portal link at the top of the page, or just type my.tridenttech.edu into your web browser. Course registration can only be done on a computer or device with a web browser. The Navigate app does not include the registration feature. We strongly recommend using the Chrome browser on your computer. You will be directed to the portal homepage. Once you are on the portal homepage, find the Navigate icon on the left-hand side of the screen and click on it. The Navigate login page will open. Click on the Login with your school account button. Once you are in, you will see the Navigate homepage. There are many useful features of Navigate to explore, but for planning and course registration, click on the Planner link at the top of the homepage. This will take you to the My Planner page. Under My Planner, you should see your program of study. On the left-hand side of the page, you will see the icons in the navigation bar. These icons will be your guide to use Navigate. The heart icon favorites any courses that you may want to take while attending TTC. The magnifying glass icon allows you to search for any class you may not find on your degree planner. The people icon takes you to the appointment feature to schedule a time with your navigator or academic advisor. Under program template courses, you will find all courses required for your degree. If you are a non-degree seeking student or undecided, you will not see any listed courses. Use the magnifying glass icon to search for courses you wish to plan. You will see that a few have a small triangle. Click on the triangle to choose one of the multiple sections of that course. Click on the view details to see a description of that course. On the right side of the course listing, you will see the My Academic Plan panel. This is the area where you can plan your courses. The first time you log in, you will see only one term, but click on the Add New Term button to add additional terms for planning. You will see a toggle button that says Show Completed Terms inside the My Academic Plan panel. Clicking the button will show any courses you have already taken and any transfer credits you have been awarded from other colleges. To plan your upcoming terms, you can drag a course to the semester you would like to take. You may also click on the symbol with three dashes to the left of each course. There is an option to add the specified term. You can plan as far ahead as you would like or just for the next semester you may see requisites to the right of some courses. This means that there is a required course that must be taken before you can register for this class. Clicking on View Details will list the prerequisite courses needed. Your advisor may recommend changes to your plan. You may accept or decline the suggested changes, but keep in mind that your advisor has your best interest in mind. You may only register for terms that are open for registration. You can see the term status under the name of each term. Now it's time to register for your planned courses. Click on the View Edit Schedule button to register for your next term. You should make sure to complete this process for each term. You are now inside the scheduler and you should see the courses you have planned for this term under My Planned Courses. On the left of the screen, you will see a nav bar with more icons. The magnifying glass icon allows you to search for courses by section. The book icon is where all of your scheduling transactions are recorded that you may review. The person icon schedules an appointment with your navigator or advisor. The clock icon creates a quick schedule based on your preferences and any times you may have blocked off in the calendar. 
the gear icon is where you can set up your course preferences. You can indicate your preference of in-person classes or web-based courses. You may also indicate which campuses you prefer to attend. You may block off any time you are unavailable with the Your Busy Times option. This will keep you from scheduling a course when you are not available. You can use the Weekly Outside Commitments option to manage your time. Click on the Update Preferences button once you are finished. The last icon is the light bulb. This has a quick tutorial of the scheduling process. A calendar will appear on the right hand side of your screen and you should see any times you have blocked off. Under My Plan Courses, you will see a directional arrow. Click on that arrow to see the available course sections. Keep in mind, Navigate will only show you sections that meet your preferences. Click on the Sections button. You will see three tabs, Available, Conflicting, or Full. Available means these sections have open seats and meet your preferences. Conflicting means there are open seats but conflict with one of your predefined preferences. Full means these sections do not have any open seats. The course sections are listed under each campus location. There is also an online classes section. Click on the arrow to the right of each campus to see the different sections. You may see course tags. These are oval buttons. This is to help further identify specific information about the course. Hovering over each tag will provide more information. For example, you may see LEC for lecture course, which is in a classroom. HYB for hybrid course, which is a combination of lecture and online. SOM, which is scheduled online meeting. This is an online course that has a regular scheduled virtual class meeting that you will need to attend. Online means it is an online course. You may see online and SOM together. INT means internet, which is an online course. Once you make your choice, click on the three dashes to the left of the title and click on Add Section. Or you can drag your choice to the calendar. You can do this with each course you have planned for the term. Once everything looks correct on your calendar, you are ready to register. Scroll down below the calendar and make sure the courses are correct. If you change your mind before you register, just click on the three dashes next to the course name and you will see the option to unschedule course. After the term begins, this is also where you can drop or withdraw from a course. If your scheduled courses are correct, click the register button. This will register all of your selected courses. You have now registered for one term. If you are ready, you will need to go back to the planner and repeat this process for each term that is open for registration.